Alrighty everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are, another day, another storage auction locker. Uh, should be a blast. I paid 90 bucks for the storage locker at auction just the other day. So we're going to clean out the locker. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. We're going to see what we find. Hopefully find some treasure. Pay 90 bucks. Uh, a lot of the lockers went pretty pricey. I figured this was probably a decent locker. And there was a lot of boxes in it, it seemed like. Um, but there's definitely a big mattress like right on top. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully make this a fun video. Hopefully find some good things and check out and see what we bought at the storage locker uh, storage locker auction. Let's do it. All right. So funny story is I totally forgot to write down my number, um, and everyone else has the same exact lock. So. It was, it was a disaster. If you guys don't remember, I picked up a storage locker here probably about two months ago. It was actually second floor, so it was on that little like mezzanine thing. Uh, kind of in the middle, but right where like one of those two locks were. So, uh, it's probably like second locker in. Uh, good news, we're on the first floor, so I'll actually choose to walk a little bit more as long as I don't have to go down, up and down those steps. So, paid 90 bucks for this locker. Let's see what it's all about. So, big doings here. The reason why I didn't sell for 200, I think is because of that mattress. Uh, the reason also why I think I kind of got for a little bit better deals, because this looks like garbage up front. But if you kind of squat down a little bit lower, you can see there's a white tote there. This isn't showing up too good on camera, so maybe I'll just try to... Ugh. But you got boxes over there, you got box in the back. You got stacks of boxes over here. So, I'm thinking it's actually a pretty clean locker. Uh, it looks like it probably was a female locker, because there's a lot of female clothes up here. It's a woman's dress up there. So, I'm going to actually take out this mattress to make everything a lot easier. And we'll start going through stuff. I think there's a mattress pad on this mattress, so it's not going to even fit on the mattress cart. So we'll have to get a flat cart or just walk this out. All right, so looks like I've got some bags over here. Betsyville. Not really too sure of that brand. Right. Looks like we got more bags within bags. This drawstring. Don't really know too much about this stuff. I don't see a name. I don't know anything about it. So we got a couple couple dollars here in purses. Looks like. a blow up mattress it looks like that's what that is that's the previous lock this looks like just metal first mystery box oh, I was about to say do we have food pieces of bark. for a wedding. No, it's all wedding invitations. Wedding print toilet paper. K 
kids' pants. Got ourselves another mystery box. This one actually has some weight. Looks like it's all paperwork. Looks like it's all paperwork. We have some sort of book. Some batteries. More books. These are index cards. It's all this goodies. Oh, jewelry. There you go. Not that I go too far in depth with this. Looks like you might have some some stain, uh, sterling there, some silver, some plastic ring, smaller pin. Looks like a Christmas tree, maybe. That's what that is. We got a whole bag of jewelry down there. That's that's a good one. This looks like just a heap of clothes, some tops. You got a hat. So it just looks like a heap of clothes. I won't bore you too much with that. It's all female oriented, it looks like. All right, so it looks like we got a bunch of boxes. It looks like a dresser back there on the right. I don't know if that's a... Uh, it looks like it's a real wood furniture. I don't know if it's an old one. Uh, grab some of these. These are probably for a hanging rack. For your clothes. This one's all busted up. That's a shame. It's a hat box. It's got a couple hats in here. Yeah, looks like the zipper's also kind of jacked up a little. This was ten dollars at somewhere. It used to be forty. A couple hats. I think they'll be good at Lambertville. I don't know, I think the hat box is too shot. It's nice, but shot. It's all busted on the top. Got a Yellowstone hat. This is a Ralph Lauren, actually. Got a homemade shoe box kind of ordeal. Uh -oh. What's in here? Could possibly be something related to the wedding. The reef. Nice picture. The marriage license by Norman Rockwell. What we got here. Kind of cool, like an advertisement. It's not old, but it's cool. Sort of angel thing, candle stand. It's kind of neat. It's not old at all. It's, I was going to say it's probably made in China, but it does have a logo like on the bottom or a store logoing. It's like the imitation brass as well. I do get a lot of comments on uh, on my videos, especially on these uh, storage auction videos, about what's like the downsize of ever buying these lockers. Uh, your biggest downside is usually if you have lots of garbage, and another big downsize is obviously you know moving this. I mean, I edit these videos out, so you don't see me walk back and forth, load up my van or unload my van. The transportation is a huge factor in this, and if you don't have the resources to kind of do it, you're going to be in huge trouble. So that's kind of downsized to that. Some bedding in your floral print. If you guys are ever getting curious into getting into it, uh, the best thing I would say is definitely have a way to transport it. Possibly some shoes in here. Let's see what's in this box. Nine West. Not shoes. Small purses. Local advertisement for Scran. Some thank you cards. Let's go with it. 
see if there's anything in these purses. Not purses, I don't know what you, no, they're just the, the card. It's, this one feels like it has something. No, a little sewing, a little sewing thing. Always very careful when opening up these kind of things, especially in storage lockers. You don't know what the history has been on previous owners or something like that. A whole bunch of stationaries. like some books at the bottom they have a license plate as well a California license plate down there in the corner no idea what kind of bone this looks like I don't know what it is anyone out there know what this is I don't think it's real whatever it is Looks like this whole bin here is all stationary. You got your light bulbs, your pins, magnifying glass, flashlight, some glue, speaker wire. What's in here? As often found in these things, there's always I don't know what that is. A bunch of sewing stuff in here. This looks like common household tools. Some wrenches down here, some more flashlights. Got some wrenches down here, some flashlights as well. So, usually, I'll go through all this stuff when I get back. Just more stationary, there's more flashlights on the bottom as well. Got what looks like bag with some book in it. School work. School work. Alrighty. I'm gonna probably try to get this rug out and like to drag that out separately. Some artwork. Alright, I guess now one of the funnest starts is these boxes. This one has a lot of newspaper in it, so hopefully something's wrapped nicely. On the top it says knick knack rocks. So I'm assuming it's probably like rocks. And they're like decorative knickknacks. And down here see so some sort of Glass piece from Kmart that costs 99 cents. You got yourself a rock. Seems to be a bunch of a you know, religious figurine here. More religious stuff down at the bottom as well. Miscellaneous kitchen, it says. Christmas lights. Really old candy canes. Yeah, more Christmas bulbs. So it's probably just near Christmas stuff. It says miscellaneous kitchen. Kind of the funny thing about that saying miscellaneous kitchen and then kind of being what well, kind of got dark in here. 
and it actually being Christmas stuff and holiday stuff, as you guys might remember a while back, I actually made a video, and in the storage locker video, the box itself said raincoats, but inside there were paint coats. So I said, oh, paint coats, and the box said raincoats, and everyone in the comment section said, I can't read, I don't know what I'm looking at, I don't even know what it says, it says raincoats. Well, there were paint coats inside the raincoats, no different than this. It did say kitchen, but it wasn't a kitchen. So, sometimes boxes are mislabeled, and I would say if you're bidding on these storage lockers, don't go based off what boxes are labeled as, because more often than not, it's not even what's in there. So, like small clothes, empty box. Some random assortment of things in here. I don't know how this correlates. There's more rocks as well. And a nice thing. Looks like they also have, I don't know what these are, but I think they'll sell. Butterflies on paper. Man. It's got some weight. Oh, looks like what we got here. Looks like a ton of books. Got some tarots. Speaking of tarot, tarot cards are pretty valuable online. Hmm, so lots of books. That would have, once again, more books. Sewing techniques in one book was kind of interesting. It's called Fairies. The next one's The Portrait of Grateful Dead. A book on Grateful Dead. That's, this one looks interesting. Jeez. See, some of these things, I don't think that has any value, but some of these things might. Tom Spring is in there. Hey, you never know. You won't believe what's in here, guys. More books. Surprisingly, surprisingly, selling books is like a very common thing on Amazon. I know it was definitely one of those first things when like the internet came around and they first started doing like buy and sell stuff. Books were something that were really, really popular. I think Amazon started off with just selling books. And you see what happened to that company. Going to go out on limb and say the last one's probably books. Wasn't wrong. It is books. The only problem with books are they're really heavy. This is our more fairies. This is a world atlas. Hey, okay, never know. Bring in a flea market. Dollar, two dollars. Hard cover, two bucks. Soft cover, a dollar. Get yourself some money. I think this is maple. I'm not 100% certain on some woods. I think that's in maple. Yeah, solid wood furniture. Don't come across this that often. This top piece got to come out somehow. That's probably about 45 bucks, 50 bucks. I do very, very well with these. The older wood back as well. So this is an older one. Uh, there used to be a mirror for people who don't really know too much about furniture. There used to be a mirror that went up. That's why you see this discoloration. It's also a little pinhole as well. Uh, I don't see the mirror unless it's all the way back there behind the grill on the bottom. But 45 bucks as it stands. Still has the casters and everything. Alright, curiosity you got me back here. Uh, what is this? Is it a big mirror or it's probably a mirror? <laughs> it was two hundred dollars at one time. It's gotta be a mirror. And that's what it is, it's a mirror. More 
picture over here. This is another mirror. Now it's a long print upside down. I should put that for you. There you go. Nice print. This mirror was 200 bucks at one time. It's crazy. Crazy. So realistically, this locker was a really clean locker. You know, have lots of prints, lots of books, but to make 90 bucks back is not going to be impossible. Uh, there really doesn't seem to be anything that's really worth a ton of money in here. However, when you go through all the clothes, you never know, or whatever's in these three boxes. This uh, propane tank also is full. So that's, what, 10, 15 bucks there. TJ Maxx or something. Got a red, got a rooster in Alaska. Some imitation kind of stoneware stuff. It's marked Italy on the bottom. It's a nice bowl. Painted in flowers. This, this head right here is probably my favorite piece in this whole locker. I don't know what I'm going to get for 10 bucks, maybe. Like I said, it's not a one. It's probably TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So we got one more box up here. This one says knickknacks, books, etc. Las Vegas. Everything in here is wrapped up. How can we? Oh, I made it into some sort of craft. Interesting. Smaller tin. So a lot of smalls and stuff. I might even make a second video going through all these smalls and paper. Whatever's in this paper, um, I know this video is probably getting pretty lengthy by now. So that's that box. It looks like just a bunch of knickknacks. So we have a microwave on the bottom, and lastly, this one last bin here, which I can't tell if this is oil paint. This is, oh, there's all paint stuff. This is acrylic. Made by Winsor and Newton, titanium white. They still feel pretty soft. I don't know the value on acrylic paint. There's more paint stuff down there. I know oil paint is so much money, like something like this, even old, you can probably get 25, 30 bucks for it like this exact thing if this was oil paint. So right there you're looking at about $300, $400 in paint in just this bag. I don't know what acrylic's worth. I don't think it's worth as much as oil or even close to it. So that's gonna be something that we'll have to sit down and, and do a little research on. But that looks to be like a very good find in itself. Alrighty, so, wow, what a blast that was. We completely cleared out this locker lots and lots of fun uh hopefully you guys did enjoy this one this one was a blast very clean locker it's not often that you come across a lot of clean stuff clean inventory uh, i do actually start to like these uh oval or circle locks but we found a bunch of cool things in here all this paint paint supplies tons and tons of smalls and knickknack stuff like that which i think which i think will do very very well at the flea market some might even go online i'll have to go through those boxes individually and see what's really in there. We got a microwave, which probably works. There's a couple cool things in there as well uh, that, you know, 
completely forget about lots of books. Found lots of books. Didn't find any food this time, which was kind of crazy. There wasn't too much clothes. Uh, but that was a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, smack the like button for me so I know you guys are still enjoying this kind of stuff and this kind of content. Uh, if you guys haven't already, subscribe down below so you don't miss any future storage locker videos just like this. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want to see more going into the new year. And yeah, thanks for coming along with the journey. Catch up with you guys next time for the next adventure. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.